to connect the two, we'll have to get this lead cord. We'll use this lead cord and make another double half hitch knot. So I'm just going to remove this um, square knot right here so we could have this straight line. We're just going to make double half hitch knot using the 8 cords or from the 8 cords of the alternating square knots. Don't be confused with other cords from the first accent piece that we created. Just focus on the 8 cords from the alternating square knots. Again, we'll just do the same on the other side. And remove this square knot in between so we could have like a flat diagonal line. Now, before we close this big diamond, we're gonna do a weave design. So let's section these into two. We have the left and right side. And we're just going to start inserting these cords alternately. Once we're done, I'm just going to separate these two so I won't be confused when I close this diamond. So we're just going to part this left side. I'm just going to simply tie it. I'm just tying it lightly. And I'll now start making double half hitch knot on this right side. Now let's work on to this group.
Next is we're gonna fill out these holes right here. Just gonna fill in these holes. Okay, as you can see. So we can fill in two cords for each holes. I cut five feet length for each. As you can see, we are just simply making Lark's head knot. Next is we're going to work on to each side. So we're going to do square knots for both. I cut 16 cords with 18 feet length each. Then I'm just going to separate these four strings. So I'm just going to simply tie it to separate it from the rest. Now we're going to start making rows of square knots. So I've created two feet rows of square knots. Now what we're going to do is to add knots, but this time we're going to do it diagonally. So we're kind of create this pointed ends. Start in between.
down to our last two rows. So we're gonna have two and this one last square knot. Just gonna close it using double half hitch knot. Then I'm just adding one more. As you can see, macrame is just all about repeating patterns and it's combining different knots depending on the design that you're making. Now, once we're done with these two sides, we'll now start working on the four strings that we have separated a while ago. For this one, we're just gonna do this kind of spiral effect. And to do this, we're just gonna do the same thing as what we're doing with square knots. But this time, instead of making an inverted four, we're just gonna do four. Okay, we're just going to repeat doing the process of making four. Now what we're gonna do is to add tassel. To add tassel, cut six cords with eight inches length each. Now fold it in a half and put the cords from the spiral knot over. So we're just gonna simply tie it. Okay, this is actually my personal style when it comes to making a tassel. But there are other ways to do it, but this is just my personal method. Then I'm just gonna get extra cord to create a gathering knot. So put this over and wrap it around three times. So I have one, two, three. And put it through the hole and pull this up. Okay, so we're just gonna remove the excess. Now I'm just untangling this so it's easier to brush. Then I'm just gonna add additional details on this part. From the farthest left, Skip these eight strings.
and group this 12 strings together and start making square knot in the middle so we just need to make square knot And then get these two neighboring chords. And then these two. And make another square knot. Same thing on the left side. Get these two chords. And make a square knot. And then one more in between. So we're just gonna repeat the process. Skip eight strings and then make this flower-ish design. And now it's time to cut the excess cord or to shape the bottom of our wall hanging. For this one, I would just like to untangle this and later cut the bottom part diagonally. So I'm just gonna mark 4 inches as a guide on where I should start cutting. find this video helpful please don't forget to share it with me by using the hashtag habit made and of course tagging us in your social media accounts don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next video